Hi, I'm Leo Ridium. I hope you're doing all right today. It's album review time and the band Absolver and Fire in the Sky is the album. These guys are from the UK, Manchester, um, formed in 2012. This is their sixth album and I haven't heard any of their stuff. The first one came out in 2012. Um, so what is this like? This is classic traditional metal got some real epic moments in it loads of light and shade in other words some quiet parts there's some acoustic guitar stuff but then it explodes into some real intricate guitar stuff as well this is for fans of iron maiden a little bit of thin lizzy some metallica i would say guitar heroics throughout there is some fucking amazing guitar work throughout this album unbelievable a twin guitar attack they swap around there's twin leads everywhere there's some amazing guitar in this is full-blown guitar attack here guys you're gonna fucking love this album so the band chris appleton on vocals and guitar man i'm not sure how much guitar he does because there's another guitarist but the guitar in is fucking like i've already said it's just mind-blowing there's some amazing guitaring on here in fact if i think about the intricacy and the way the melodies are throughout this album it sort of reminds me of maiden's best album power slave those intricate melodies all the way through it the way they the guitarists swap about that's iron maiden's best album for me guitar wise and it sort of reminds me of that Krista Appleton also is the vocalist. Um, he's got a great clean vocal throughout. He has some aggressive moments, but he sings clean, he soars. He's got a great vocal all round. Brilliant vocalist. You've got Martin McNee on the drums and Cole Scram on the bass. Now, bass playing is absolutely superb, along with the drumming as well. Bass player really reminds me, he's playing again. I'm going to bring Maiden into it. It really reminds me of Steve Harris. He's busy on the bass, the sound of the bass, absolutely superb. And like I said, along with the drummer, who is just amazing, make a brilliant rhythm section. And then you've got Luke Appleton on the other guitar. Brilliant guitarist. Like I said, not sure how much the guitars, um, how much they do of the lead. It seems like they swap about quite evenly, not 100% sure, but they are absolutely superb guitarists. So I'm going to run through the uh, my favourite tracks on this album. There's quite a few of them. So you've got Demon Tormentor is the first track. Medium to fast paced, galloping metal track. True metal, fast, melodic metal. Absolutely superb. An absolutely amazing um solo which has a sort of a twin lead then breaks off into a, just a mental technical part mind blown is when you're talking about the guitar in on this album next up is burn inside this is a medium paced metal track um, that is just brilliant those guitar melodies all over this galloping track is a gallop to this again a real catchy chorus as well absolutely fantastic addiction is the next one i suppose the first tracks for me had the maiden feels real maiden feels but this one has a sort of a metal blues feel to it it hits with a very cool chorus where the vocal lines follow the guitar melody and this is real catchy stuff guys the next track is absolutely amazing what does god know what does god know This has an excellent epic feel to it where the quieter parts, this is what I'm talking about, light and shade. You get quite a clean guitar and vocal parts. Sort of reminds me a little bit of Scorpions in parts of this. Then breaking into sort of heavy epic soundscapes where that Maiden-esque guitar melodies come back. The instrumental section in this one is just fucking mind-blowing. The next track I want to talk about is Man For All Seasons. Another really strong track. A doomy riff kicks off. Then we're into a brilliant galloping riff before the chuggy verses hit hard. A brilliant chorus is backed up by that earlier gallop that you heard. and just makes it such an epic sounding track. It's a definite highlight. The maiden melodies again are in full force. The next track I want to talk about is Historic Year. This is the last one I want to talk about. January 
I mean, this is a really strong album all round, but I'm talking about my favourites here. Historic year as a real epic feel again. That's really present as it is throughout this album. We sort of start with an acoustic and a vocal beginning before the band comes in with one of the best galloping riffs you will hear. I think this song hit me harder than any other song on this album. It sort of reminded me um, of my top track of last year, Spirit Adrift, Forge Your Future. One of my, it was my favourite track of last year. It sort of reminds me, giving me those feels. So I can imagine this song is going to be one of my top tracks of the year for sure. What an amazing album, guys. There's 10 tracks in total, but solid all the way through absolutely love this album you guys who love guitaring who loves the traditional metal you know that early 80s sort of sound are gonna fucking love this so an amazing album guys highly recommended by me absolver fire in the sky and a quick shout out again i found this one on metal collision from last week's show on youtube make sure you subscribe to that channel it's amazing let me know what you think in the comments guys and i'll see you next time